Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another GTA 5 video. This is the 100% complete video. I did it, and it is not the final video. I'll deal with that a little more at the end of this one. But I have to ask myself one question. Was it worth it? Was it worth completing GTA 5 to 100%? And that is what I'm going to elaborate about. If you play the game itself, you can probably knock out all of the main missions in a weekend or several days of dedicated playing. Yet, if you want 100% in GTA 5, you have to put in a lot of work. If you watch this video through, it helps my YouTube ratings. If not, feel free to fast forward a little bit. It is going to be a somewhat rambling video of sorts. I've organized all the information I can, and to give you an idea of how hard it is to really complete GTA 5 to 100%. In order to get 100% in GTA 5, you not only have to do all 69 main story missions, but there are 42 hobbies and pastimes you have to complete, 20 strangers and freaks you have to engage and do all of their missions, and some of them have multiple missions. There are 14 random events and 16 miscellaneous things you have to do. Yeah, that is a lot. Most of the things are relatively easy. Like the 14 random events, those are the events that pop up when you're riding around uh, San Andreas. Like someone's getting robbed or somebody tries to ambush you. Yeah. Those are relatively easy. Then there are the 16 miscellaneous things that you have to do, like shooting darts with one of the other one or the other characters, uh, walking and playing with Chopper. Yeah, very easy, innocent things to do. And they can be done during the mission, main missions, whatever, you, you know, you can do those. The strangers and freaks, well, those can be more involved. Some of them have multiple missions, and they are all Franklin's because he is the only character guaranteed to survive the game. You can kill off Michael or Trevor, and so their strangers and freaks missions would not be able to be completed, and so do not count. Dom is probably the most vexing of strangers and freaks. You have to complete all 13 parachute jumps as Franklin to get Dom's last mission. Then there is Omega, whom you have to collect 50 random spaceship parts. As well as, you have to also do the collecting of 50 letter scraps. My advice Enlist Trevor since he has immediate access to a helicopter and that makes gathering the spaceship parts and letter scraps easier. The hobbies and pastimes are another issue as well. There are the parachute jumps, which you need to do for Dom. Then there are several races as well as triathlons. The first triathlon becomes available after any character has an encounter with Marianne. And there are three triathlons. Make sure you have your character stamina to 100% for any character you're going to use in the triathlons because it makes it a lot easier to do. Then there's the First off-road race, which becomes available after the Mr. Phillips mission. And there are six of those off-road races. My advice, use Franklin. Then 
There are the five street race missions that become available after doing shift work with Franklin, and you can only use Franklin during the street races. There are four sea races that become available after Hood Safari, and you can use any character for those missions because Franklin's ability does not work at sea. You have to do all those race missions. Also, you have to complete eight knife flights out of 17, 25 under bridge passes while flying out of 50, and 25 stunt jumps out of 50. I used Trevor for the flying missions and Franklin for the stunt jumps. On top of all this, you need to complete all shooting range training to at least bronze or above with one character. And you have to have Franklin or Michael complete all the airplane school training with bronze or above in order to get 100%. Plus, you have to get a private dance from a stripper, hire the services of a prostitute, win at a game of darts, win at a game of tennis, and have a total of par for nine holes of golf. I used Michael to play tennis and do the golf. In fact, it was winning a game of tennis, which was the last thing I needed to do to get 100%. I had thought I had done that when I finished the last street race, which is playing in the background, and I checked. I was missing one hobbies and pastimes. After thinking about that and what I missed, I went back to Michael and had him go to a tennis court and play one game. Turns out winning a set is not winning a game. Very specific about that. In total, you have to do 161 things in order to complete GTA 5 at 100%. What do you get for completing 100%? A t shirt in Franklin's wardrobe. No doubling of money or anything. Also, you are not done. Once you've completed 100%, if you are willing to wait several game days, maybe even up to a week, a green question mark appears at Mount Chiliad. That is a separate event for another video. Was it worth it? If you are not a completist, it is not worth it. My main goal when I downloaded GTA 5 probably six months ago, if you are watching this video, was to play it through to 100%. When I had it on the Xbox 360, I think I did play through one time to 100%. My advice is if you are going to do this achievement, mix up the races, hunting for letter scraps, and spaceship parts, etc. in between the main missions. Do not save them until you have completed all the main missions. If you do that, it becomes a drag or a grind. Some of the stuff could frustrate you, and some of it is fun. Using a woefully underpowered car on stunt jumps with Franklin's power made for some crazy air. That was a lot of fun. This is not the last GTA 5 video. I have three more videos coming to our random events I did with Franklin while trying to get 100%. The other is the green question mark that pops up after 100%. If you have watched through this far, thank you. It helps with the YouTube rankings and bots, etc. If you liked this video and found it informative, hit the thumbs up icon. Feel free to leave a comment. I do my best to respond to all comments. If you enjoyed 
video game related videos, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. This is not only helping me with YouTube ranking, it helps me collect and eventually monetize my videos. I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for stopping by.